Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderKai.com and today I wanted to talk about Squarespace pricing and there are actually six different things that I wanted to cover during this video. Okay, first thing is that when you go to Squarespace's pricing page you are obviously going to see all these different prices related to their plans. Uh, and you are basically seeing two different types of prices. First of all, there is uh, a lower price and a higher price. The lower price is related to the annual plans, whereas the higher price is related to a month-to-month -month billing cycle. And what it means is that if you choose the annual pricing, you end up, end up paying less when compared to the month-to-month -month billing cycle. Uh, I, I think that this practice is very, very common. Uh, pretty much every site builder that I have tested so far follows this practice and obviously it makes sense because if you choose the annual pricing, uh, you are more committed to their service rather than just having a month-to-month -month billing cycle. Uh, and I think that the annual pricing might be a good fit for some, but for me it's not really. Uh, I think that the month-to-month -month billing cycle is much more flexible in my case, and uh, I like it better, but definitely if you want to save money uh, and you want to have a long-term plan, then please go ahead and choose the annual pricing. It's, it, it definitely makes sense. But what else you are going to see here is that uh, the prices are displayed in euros. Now I do understand that you might not be living in a country which uses euro currency. So if you want to see your price, let's say that you are coming from United States and you want to display these prices in, in US dollars, uh, and I'm guessing that, that since I live in a euro country that you know, Squarespace is de detecting that and they are automatically displaying these prices in euros. But if for some reason you are seeing euros when you are coming from US, you can change that very easily. When, when you scroll down the page, you will see a currency switcher at the bottom left of the page. Currently the euros are chosen, but if you click here, then you can choose your preferred currency and in this case if I choose the USD uh, the prices should be in United States dollars and yes they are here in US dollars. So it's it's a very nice and handy feature and I would like to see this type of a currency switcher with other online site builders as well. Okay, uh, we talked about annual pricing versus month-to-month uh, prices. There is still something else that I would like to see here uh, and I think that in some ways it would be more transparent to the consumer if this this feature would be available. Uh, it would be nice to see uh, the annual prices or rather how much you end up paying upfront if you choose the annual price. Now obviously what you could do is do some you know basic math like if you know that the personal plan when the annual pricing is chosen costs twelve dollars per month and then you can do some basic calculation to see how much that is uh, in a year but I would like to see that directly here on this page but since it's it's not uh, possible to do that there are a couple of steps that you could take in order to see the full annual price. And for instance, in this case, uh, I have already logged into my account, and if I choose any of these expired uh, test sites that I have, for instance, this one, and when I look at the bottom of the page, it says your website subscription has been expired, fix now. So I click the fix now button, and I will be taken to the uh, pricing page once again. And here also I can uh, change the currency if I want to. But let me just keep it as it is. And let me just click the select button. 
and click OK here. And if I, here on this very page, here on the checkout page, if I click to the bottom of the page, I will see that the full price in euros is, is this amount of money. And obviously if you have chosen, because there is a currency switcher on this page as well, so if you have chosen other currency, so you will see the price displayed in that very currency. So that's the only way to, to actually know how much you end up paying up front. Okay, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about annual pricing. Um, let's next cover the trial uh, because it's possible to have a trial. So with Squarespace, you can just drive, you know, get familiar with with all the different features, you know, get familiar with the site builder for 14 days. So basically they have a free 14 day trial that you can use. Now, the thing is that there are certain limitations to it. Uh, if you go to Squarespace's knowledge base, knowledge base and seek for a article called starting a Squarespace trial, there are all these different limitations listed here. So for instance, search engines are not indexing your site. So when you start your trial and you build your site and you publish it, your site goes live on the internet, but then at the same time it is not being indexed by search engines. And there are you know, plenty of other limitations uh, when it comes to running a trial period. Uh, but it's also worth remembering that you can get rid of these limitations when you upgrade to a premium level plan. So that's how to get rid of them. Uh, Squarespace also provides a refund. And this is, of course, uh, very important to know. So refunds are only applicable when you have chosen an annual plan. And basically what they say here this article, once again, refund policies can, can be found on Squarespace's knowledge base, but it, it basically says that, uh, let's see, we automatically issue a full refund when you cancel an annual website subscription within the subscription's first 14 days. But on the other hand, if you have chosen chosen a month-to-month -month billing cycle, then they do not issue refunds. So that's what I wanted to mention about, that's what I wanted to talk about refunds. It's important to understand when they are issuing refunds and when they are not issuing refunds. And then you can actually find more information related to refunds on this uh, very article that, that's on Squarespace's site. Okay, let's see what else do I have here because you know I have my notes on the desk and I'm just trying to make sure that I'm covering each and every one of these topics that I wanted to cover during this video so that's that's why I have to take a quick look every now and then uh, at my notes to see where I'm going right now. Okay, so we talked about annual pricing, we talked about uh, currency switcher, uh, we talked about the trials, we talked about refunds. Uh, and I think that one of the last things that I wanted to cover, uh, this is actually very uh, common practice with uh, every site builder. Uh, so basically what I'm talking about is that if you want to build multiple sites, if you want to build more than one website, you are required to have multiple subscriptions. So for instance, let's say that you have a website one, then you have website two, then you have website three. So for all of these three websites, you need a separate subscription. And you may be thinking that it costs a lot of money. And of course, when you compare this type of a pricing model to, for instance, to self-hosted WordPress, where once you purchase hosting, from any of the hosting providers, uh, you can build as, well, pretty much as many websites as you want 
on that one hosting plan. But it's different with, with these site builders. And I, I think that the reason is actually very simple to understand. At, at least it makes sense to me and I hope that it makes sense to you as well. Because these site builders are businesses. And what they want to do is that they want to, what for instance, they want to pay their customer support, their engineers, they want to uh, develop new features, they want to uh, invest into their infrastructure. And there are lots of, lots of these different costs that need to be covered. And the money has to come from somewhere. And that's why it makes sense to bill separately for each of the websites that you are building. So I hope that it makes sense to you right now. And that's that's the reason why these site builders may sometimes be more expensive than when you are running a website with, with uh, uh, a self-hosted, on a self-hosted WordPress platform. But then at the same time, you are getting more bang for your buck like a customer support and you know all the security patches and fixes are taken care of for you and everything is up to date so you do not have to pay any attention to that but okay that's what i wanted to talk about squarespace pricing and uh, i will get back to you soon with a new video bye bye